Okay, here's all the owner's documents for the 2012 Ford Focus. They all come in this little Velcro flat thingy, which is not as nice as the zippered up cloth books you used to get with the Ford, or the vinyl ones in the 90s. You get two little business card, little business card holdery things in the back. This is your roadside assistance card. Basically, a quick little. This is the stuff you can get with roadside assistance. Little cards that you can cut out and throw in your wallet or something. Um, yeah, so that's your roadside assistance card. Um, for if you have serious um, XM satellite radio, six months trial period. Basically, it gives you a channel guide in here. And um, very, very exciting. Teaches you how to use it with the different displays. This is the old style Ford radio, and um, all the way up through my Ford Touch and the basic my Ford system. That this is the uh, this is very fancy. Yeah, not really. Um, this is your Ford cleaning cloth. I think it only comes if you get uh, my Ford Touch or have an LCD display. Very exciting. Um, I think these were just from when the car was being built. Little barcode thing. I don't honestly know what these things are for, but I kept them anyway just for the hell of it. This is your warranty guide for the 2012 model year. Except, obviously, those. So this is the same with every new Ford. Apparently Ford is going for the dark green. I'm a cool city car look. You get a huge My Ford Touch owner's manual. Which I have not read, because I know how it works, and it's kind of self-explanatory. This is, this, um, it's very, very comprehensive, though, even though I think it's stupid, and not anybody here reads this entire thing, it just basically has no life, and can't figure anything out on their own. But it's nice for quick little reference things. Like, it gives you whole, let's see if I can show you, okay. It gives you a full chart of every possible thing you can say, with the voice commands and everything. And, um, troubleshooting. This is nice to have. Obviously, it's the same for my Lincoln Touch tire warranty guide. Um, yeah, like I'm gonna read that. Um, this is your quick reference guide. You can download these as a PDF, by the way, um, from the Ford website. You can download. I have the owner's manual. I have the PDF. Um, and actually, my friend who works at a Ford dealer gave me a PDF of a window sticker. But anyways, um, this is about the quick reference guide. Looks like it folds out. And if I can get it to work, come on, work with me here. Okay. Um, okay, it still kind of folds around. But anyways, it just shows you basic audio steering wheel functions. The picture it shows you that is an SEL without my Ford Touch. That's what the regular my Ford looks like, not my Ford Touch. Push button start. Basically, just it tells you about the triple blink feature. I think. Yeah. If you just tap the blinker down once, it gives you three blink blinks, just like on a Volkswagen. Uh, the Fiesta does the same thing. It's really cool for changing lanes. Um, hill, um, hill start assist is kind of cool. I've actually felt this work. It works really good. Um, basically, it applies the brakes if you're on a steep incline because it's got a DSG transmission. It doesn't allow it to roll back. So that's kind of neat. Um, rear view camera, voice recognition, ambient lighting, how to adjust the seats. Rain, sen other, rain sensing wipers, all that kind of stuff. Look at the other side, there's my Ford Touch up here. Usually just quick little day-to-day -day stuff, how to set the clock. Intelligent access, which is only on the titanium. That's a picture of my key. There's a picture of the, the IKT, the regular key. Interestingly enough, they didn't use a picture of a focus key, because the focus key actually has a different style blade on it. This is just, this is probably a key to a fusion or something. But anyway, that's the different, it's, it's called an IKT, an integrated key head transmitter. Um, it, there's a couple of the, some of the features it has of the key. And this is your other essential, inf supposedly essential information. Uh, roadside assistance, the uh, SOS post crash alert system, which basically turns on the hazards and flashes the horn when you get into a car accident. Um, to turn that off, press the hazard button. Fuel tank capacity, 12.4 gallons, kind of small. Easy fuel system like every new Ford, there's no gas cap. There's your quick reference guide. Um, 
And finally, you have the actual owner's manual, which is set up like basically every Ford manual of the last 20 years. Starts you out with, oops, warning lights, then goes into the dashboard, then the radio, then the climate system, and blah, 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 blah. And then you have all the uh, rest of the stuff on the back here. All the technical specs and your glossary. And so yeah, that's all your owner's documents of the 2012 Ford Focus. Any questions, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.